It's been more than three decades since Daniel Billy Miller, a 19-year-old Dayton man, was found gunned down on the railroad tracks, but still no arrests have been made. But now, at the urging of his family, police have reopened the case and they hope to finally catch his killer. Only on two, Megan O'Rourke gives you an exclusive look inside this cold case investigation. The saying, time heals all wounds, couldn't be farther from reality for those who knew and loved Billy Miller, and even for one woman who didn't. All of them told me they wanted to share their story, but they don't want to show their identity. Because all these years later, they're still afraid they could be targeted, just like Billy. I never got to meet my dad. I was robbed of uh, meeting my dad and him meeting me. Billy Miller's daughter, Danielle, was still three months away from coming into the world when he was murdered on July 23, 1982. The now 31-year-old woman says she struggled her entire life to understand why. Someone very cruel has taken my father from me. Danielle's mother, Vicki, remembers it like it was yesterday. Dropped him off at his house. I guess it happened later on, a couple hours later. The next morning, Billy was found shot to death on the railroad tracks at Monument and Finley. We found these old crime scene photos inside the detective's case file. This is what the area looks like today where Miller's body was found in 1982. You can see it all pretty much looks the same. Not much has changed except for science. Back then, the, obviously the only thing that we really did was fingerprints. We did a lot of blood comparison and stuff. DNA takes a blood comparison and you can actually say um, increases your chances like 100% plus. Patty Tackett is a cold case detective tasked with combing old evidence looking for new clues. If we can solve a crime because of this, I think that's what we need to do. Police tell me they think Billy may have been targeted because of his suspected involvement in some robberies just prior to his murder. They interviewed so many people and basically got nowhere with that and I think that I still believe that somebody knows. If so, it's a decades old secret that Billy's family is determined to expose for justice, for closure, and for a dad who never had the chance to meet his little girl. I have a smile. I have everything about my dad. I have his personality. I have his good heart. Now, if you have any information about the 1982 murder of Billy Miller, contact Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. You don't have to give your name and could earn a cash reward. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.